Hey, what's up guys? Justin here and welcome to 65 Drums. The basic premise of today's video is just to see how far we can push the Roland TD-17 KVX. Let's start off with number one. So if you've watched my in-depth review of the Roland TD-17 KVX, you know that I really like the drum set. But one of the big downsides is that I really don't like the tom pads. And I go into why in the actual review, so go check that out. So what we're going to do today is put a couple of 10 inch tom pads for the two high toms and then put a 12 inch pad as the floor tom. So what you usually do when you buy a new pad is you take the other one that you replaced and shift it downward. So what I ended up doing was putting a acoustic 14 inch snare that has a, a drum tech mesh head on it and an R drums trigger inside of it. And then I moved the actual snare, the PDX 12 pad and make that the floor tom. So now the full sizes are 14, 10, 10 and 12 inches. So really good sizes, makes this drum set way more fun to play, and it has more of like a presence to it. This drum set looks way nicer with those larger pads. Okay, so moving on to number two, I said in my review that other than the floor tom, the second thing that I would upgrade is the ride cymbal. I can't remember how large that ride cymbal is. I think it's like 13 inches across or something. It's a very small ride cymbal for that drum set, even at the pad sizes that they have. But thankfully, I happen to have a CY15R ride cymbal lying around. And just that one upgrade changes a lot about this drum set. All of a sudden the drum set feels larger. I just like having that larger ride cymbal. It's just a personal thing. Maybe you want to upgrade the hi-hat. Maybe you want to upgrade the snare. The floor tom and the ride cymbal are my two top upgrades for the TD-17 line. And I think it makes a big difference here. And of course, because we're replacing that ride cymbal, now we're going to put that on its own dedicated stand. And now it's a crash cymbal. You just plug in the one input instead of the two chords. If you have a Roland drum module, some of the best cymbals you can buy are from Roland themselves that make very good cymbals. They are a little bit pricey though. ATV is another amazing company. I love the fact that they have 360 triggering. So if your cymbal spins around, it doesn't really matter. Anywhere you hit on the cymbal, you get 100% triggering. I like the look of the Roland cymbals more, but I like the performance of ATV a little bit more. If you have a very low budget, you could always buy an Elisa Strike cymbal. They technically work with the Roland drum module. I don't really like the feel of Elisa Strike cymbals. That's one of the downsides. They give you really large cymbals, but they're a little bit more cheaply made. But definitely, if you're on a budget and you want to, you could buy an Elisa Strike cymbal or you could go with Pintech. Some people like Pintech a lot. I haven't got a chance to play those yet. As far as the hi-hat goes, I don't feel a real need to upgrade this. The VH10 is very good by itself. You could go up to the VH13, that's like 800 bucks. You could go to the ATV two-piece hi-hats, that's like $500, but I feel like it's more of an incremental improvement. Sure, if you have the money lying around, you could buy a nicer hi-hat, but the VH10 is great as it is. You don't have to plug it into the wall. You don't have to have like, it takes a while to set up two piece hi-hats. You have to snake the cables around through the two pieces of the hi-hat. It's kind of a pain. This, moving it around, setting it up is way quicker, takes up a little bit less space. Not saying it's better, but it's just easier. Okay, so moving on to the ground, we have the Roland KD-120. And you might be saying to yourself, Justin, didn't you just say in your review video that you couldn't use a large kick drum with this thing because the drum rack was too narrow? And yes, I totally said that and I was totally wrong. Now I was technically correct because you still can't fit this kick drum in between those two front legs of the drum rack. The only thing that fits there is the KD-9 and the KD-10. But you can put it in front of the drum rack. You'll have to scoot your chair back a couple of inches, but overall, especially with the larger pads, it's still playable. So I was definitely wrong about this. It is workable. It's not ideal, but you know what? I've been using it and it definitely works. So as you know, the KD-10 is the pad that comes with the TD-17 series. And that kick pad is very good for the size and the price point that it's at. But the one main complaint that I saw against it in the comments was that while it doesn't move physically, it does sway back and forth while you're playing. And that can be a little bit irritating. Again, you're used to a 22 inch bass drum. This doesn't feel exactly like that because it's such a small kick drum. You can upgrade to something larger and make it way more fun to play, such as the KD-120. And because kick drums are so similar, you could use like a Yamaha kick drum. It's just one piezo. It's not like trying to get cymbals to work with other drum modules. Usually any kick drum from any manufacturer will work with everything because it's just one piezo. So find a larger kick drum that you like and think about it as an upgrade. It's not like on the top of my list for upgrading things on the TD-17 line, but it's an option if you want. Okay, so moving on to the final upgrade, we have the sound of the drum set. Now you have three main options here. Option number one is just to keep your drum module and then buy a settings pack online. There are also free ones you can download. 
So basically a settings pack is someone else when EQ'd all the drums, they've changed the size, they've changed the muffling, they've done compression or whatever the settings of your particular drum module allow. They do the hours worth of work on that kit to make it sound as good as it possibly can. And inside the TD-17, they let you import samples. So some companies actually include actual snare samples that they've recorded themselves as like a maximum velocity hit. So when you hit really hard, then you'll hear their snare sample mixed in with the roll and sound. So there's a lot you can do. Um, different companies sell these things like vexpressions.com. I know if you buy a drum tech set, sometimes they'll include those for free. I don't know if they sell them separately on their website or not. And then of course on the forums, uh, you can see uh, different people share theirs for free. Okay, so option number two to upgrade the sound of your TD-17 is to buy drum software. This is a little bit more expensive than buying a settings pack, but it's a lot more in depth than a settings pack. So basically drum software is a virtual drum module that lives on your computer. So you connect to your drum module via a USB cable. When you hit your drum, your laptop knows which drum you hit, how hard you hit, and it generates the sound. Because it's a laptop and not a crappy little drum module, it has a powerful processor, it has larger samples that it's drawing from, and you get a better sound overall. It's more setup, more headache, but the overall quality of everything is way better. And drum software is actually used on real albums that you've heard yourself without knowing it. There's a whole range of options out there, ranging from free to 300 bucks. So on the free side, there's MT Power Kit. There are other ones out there, but this is probably the most famous free VST software for drums. And uh, I've actually made a full tutorial on this. You can download it for free. Also download a full DAW to host this VST. And I show you how to do it and how to set it up and everything. Moving on a little bit more in price, you have Easy Drummer 2, which I own. It's a great piece of drum software. It doesn't have as much control over getting the smoothest of hi-hat response and different stuff. You can't edit the drums as much, but it's a good sound out of the box. And there's also a lot of great expansion packs that you can download to add even more drums and cymbals. You also have Addictive Drums, which is also very good, I hear. I haven't tried it out. You have Steven Slate Drums and Superior Drummer 3, which are like the two flagships of the industry. They're the best that you can possibly buy. Right now, I like Superior Drummer 3 a little bit more just because I'm biased. I actually bought it and I was given some free add-on software packages for it. I feel like Superior Drummer 3 is the more robust of the two options because there's so many add-on packs that you can buy for like country, metal and just in cinematic, all kinds of different drum sounds. And it alone comes with hundreds of gigabytes worth of drum sounds without buying any add-ons in the first place. It has a lot going for it. Go check out my review video if you wanna learn more. But of course, Steam Slate Drums 5 is also an amazing option. I just don't know a ton about it because I didn't buy it. And then finally, moving on to option number three to upgrade your sound, you could just sell your TD-17 on eBay or Craigslist and then buy a new drum module entirely. If you don't want the hassle of having a laptop, an audio interface, and learning how to set everything up, you could just buy a Pearl Mimic, which already has Steven Slate Drums 5 on it. Or you could buy something such as an Elisa Strike and load a drum software package onto that, or buy um, like, a, what do you call it, Two Box Drum at 5 version 2, or the Two Box Drum at 3. Those both let you import VSTs on it. Two Box Drum at 5 Model 2 has more storage space though, so it's the better option if you're buying it just to load samples on it. And by the way, that Pearl Mimic Pro behind me isn't really mine. I'm just borrowing it for a couple of months. Shout out to John for letting me do that. Very, very kind of him. That lets me do a full review, a couple of different playing example videos, maybe a tutorial, we'll see what happens. You have plenty of ways to go waste your entire life savings now. Share some photos of your TD-17 on the 65 Drums Facebook group if you haven't joined it already. Have an amazing day, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a few.